So a lot, a lot of uh, soil building can be done in the pathways, and we never think about that. Um, the pathways get compacted, um, muddy, but what we're doing here in Phoenix is turning the pathways into a, a worm farm, and it can be harvested three times a year just by putting organic matter and inoculating it with worms using manure coffee grounds, leaves, um, and then putting a pallet on top of it so you can actually walk on it. The worms are going to digest all this material. Every three months we can dig this out and put it on the garden beds or in, into our annual bed here. So we have, again, stacking functions here. So let's, uh, Peter, lay that back down and uh, we'll uh, We'll do the next section here, and you can either find a long pallet, and, or you can saw a pallet in half, and and it fits right into our pathway here. So actually, you're standing up here, and you're not compacting as much as you would uh, if you were walking on it yourself, and it keeps you up high, high and dry here. And actually, it's a pretty good place. It's a pretty good uh, height to work in the beds itself. So you can sit over here and work on the beds as well, and it works well. So we're going to start adding, uh, Caitlin, why don't you start bringing the first bag of leaves in. So we'll put down leaves first as our carbon source. And these are leaves that we stockpile uh, at the end of the year. We use them all through the winter in our greenhouses for mulching and making up worm farms, individual worm farms in buckets, or now we're doing it in the pathways. And this is something you can do uh, in your garden beds outside. When you're doing raised beds, you can, uh, you can do this very same thing, and then every year you can just dig it up and throw it on your garden bed, so you're composting in place. Uh, and then the worms can move right from that area right into your in your garden beds. So we don't want to waste any space. So uh, why don't you just pull it all the way back? Let's put down about three inches of leaves for now. Can you this three inches? Yeah. Actually, yeah. And we may not have enough for two. Two layers this time, you know? Enough leaves? No, or enough material. So we may just go heavy on this um, and do a one shot. Uh, we'll get another bag of leaves. So we're also growing worms in these annual beds just by doing the same thing, just by adding organic material. You can see the, the amount of worms here. And we're gonna we're gonna use this as our worm supply. And you can see it goes way down deep here. You're still we're still into the to a lot of worms. So Caitlin, you can come ahead and start spreading the the rabbit manure on top. Source nitrogen source. So, this is about um, five by a foot and a half, and then we've already harvested that many worms here. This is a 15 gallon bucket, and there just seems to be an endless supply of, of worms. Eventually, we grow in these beds. Okay, the next layer would be the coffee grounds. <laughs> so we'll put a little humic acid in here as well. So that this 
humic acid and microbes will follow this material wherever it goes. And you'll get a chance to grow this as well as we're inoculating with some, some nice microbes. Maybe, maybe over there. That'll, that'll, that'll be okay. Bring it over. We put the layer of leaves down, some manure, microbes, humic acid, coffee grounds, and then worms, and then another layer of leaves. And this has some grass clippings in it. So the, the worms can go either up or down into this carbon source and eventually break it all down. And this will have to get watered in. When we're watering the rest of the greenhouse, we can just water this in without any uh, e any special effort. So you know, we can just saw these pallets to the width of the pathway here, and so there we go. We have one more pallet to put in here, and we've got a you know a worm farm and a way to produce organic material, fertilizer, worm castings, growing worms, uh, basically for the whole greenhouse throughout the year now. We have about 80 feet, linear feet, uh, of walkway right here. If we do this three times a year, uh, it would be easier, easy to produce all of the fertilizer that we need for the entire greenhouse right here in this one particular walkway. Uh, now that we have the soils built up, um, from a year and a half of sheet mulching. Um, a little bit of mulch and whatever we're doing here probably will um, take this uh, this greenhouse into the next millennium as far as soil fertility. And you can sell it to the worms. <laughs>